All I'm saying is, on paper, it works. It's when you factor in the human element, in this case greed, that the whole thing falls apart. A society without money? You know, they tried that one. They called it communism. You remember how that turned out, right? Commie bastard. Hey, any of you guys see that comedy short horror film, Red Men Rising? No? Fucking brilliant. Forget about money. I'm not talking about communism. I'm talking about global communication eliminating the need for so many politicians. Talking about mass online voting by the populace instead of an elected official. Talking about more control, more understanding, and less bloated government salaries. Eventually, we may not even need a prime minister. A leaderless country? Seriously, how are you smarter than me? Hey, Chris, do me a favor. Can you tell this guy he's living in a dream world? Sorry, I stopped listening a while back. Just waiting for my turn to talk. All right, fine. What would you like to talk about? Gay marriage. Ugh, oh, I'm not in the mood for a religious conversation. There's nothing left to discuss. Sure we have to deal with men banging men, but in exchange we get women nailing women. Fair trade. Ugh, oh, pig. Gay marriage isn't just a religious conversation. What does he want to talk about? Well, they're doing it wrong. Who are? The gays? Or the lesbians? I get it. He means that this and this will never mean as much as this. Good call. You're disgusting. No, that's not what I mean. What I mean is, marriage used to be a religious thing with rules. Two people, a man and a woman. The legal stuff came after. Now the government has legalized gay marriage, even though the church refuses to accept it. Which church? Most, probably. It doesn't matter. The point is, marriage has become more about the law than about God. If the government was prepared to do so, they should have gone all the way. If marriage no longer has to be between a man and a woman, then why does it have to be between two people? And I'm living in a dream world? Mormon? You're talking about marrying systems, not just stopping them. Interesting. Stopping? The family unit of the future will have three, four or more adults with any combination of men and women. This family unit will have three, four more children. No nannies, no maids, no strangers raising kids. They'll have a full-time house parent with multiple incomes. It's win-win. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I agree with Mark. All you want is multiple wives. Is sex with different women really that important to you? Speaking of which... Hey, want to split a rape charge? What? Not you. Hey, Rich. Don't you dare finish that sentence. Those are the types of girls that give the rest of us a bad name. Hey, hey, put down the butter knife and we'll talk. Is that the kind of girl you take home to meet your mother? No. It's the kind of girl I take home to meet Dad. Honeys! I'm home! Hi, sweetie. How was your day? It was good. Wow, you look nice. Face yourself, stud. You have a big night ahead of you. Don't worry about me. I'm ambidextrous. What happens when you need three arms? Don't worry. I'll figure out something when the time comes. Okay, so we're going to blush. We'll be back after two. Uh, what about me? Don't be silly. And I think Kayla needs to be changed. Kayla? What? <gasps> to work and one of us will go after the kids. Good night baby, it's our turn tonight. Don't fall asleep in the wrong bedroom. Love you. Turns? Separate bedrooms? This is not sexy. Forget what I said! No way! 
Marriage should only be between two people. No more, no less. And I'm not marrying a girl like that. I wear the pants. Comprend it? Ah, hell no!